Thank you, moderator, for the floor. Young people today are not inheriting the future we deserve. Decision makers around the world sacrifice our future for capitalistic and political gains and do so without accountability. The world is burning. Those hardest hit by the climate crisis and COVID-19 are dying. And colonialist, neocolonialist, extractive states and actors continue to exploit those who are already oppressed with impunity. As a result of the ongoing pandemic, we see that vulnerabilities and inequalities have widened for many of us, affecting some populations disproportionately, namely young and older persons, women, girls, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex persons, migrants, refugees, persons with disabilities, persons living with HIV, and other marginalized groups. Countless civil society actors are working to meet the needs of those hardest hit while facing capital constraints due to resource reallocations and withdrawals on current and future commitments by donors, while also struggling themselves to access health care, public services, and social support. The pandemic has shown us that for any emergency and recovery program to succeed in restoring people's health, financial capabilities, and social security, it must address the systemic barriers that drive stigma and inequality especially sexism, racism, misogyny, and other intersecting forms of discrimination, all of which stall progress on sustainable development. A social environment where everyone has equal opportunities to thrive and succeed is one that drives progress and innovation. Building back better and leaving no one behind requires taking a conscious approach to including all persons in the consultation, development, and implementation of action on sustainable development. Major groups and other stakeholders and civil society actors are fundamental to this ambition. Only with strong cross-stakeholder, cross-sector, cross-regional, and cross-thematic partnerships and collaboration can we realize the SDGs. We understand that the only way forward is to work together intersectionally, equally, and we ask that you work with us. Thank you.